Hello, Brickface here, and we'll continue today from the this book of quick answers uh, with a, another entry, the abortion, spontaneous abortion. Key features, essentials of diagnosis, essentials of diagnosis of spontaneous abortion. Intrauterine pregnancy, less than 20 weeks, low or falling levels of human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, Bleeding or midline cramping pain, or both. Open cervical os. Complete or partial expulsion of products of conception. So, general considerations. Spontaneous abortion is defined as termination of gestation prior to the 20th week of pregnancy. 75% of cases occur before the 16th week with 75% of these before the 8th week. Almost 20% of clinically recognized pregnancies terminate in spontaneous abortions. More than 60% of cases result from chromosomal defects. About 15% of cases are associated with maternal trauma, infection, dietary deficiency, diabetes mellitus, hypothyroidism, the lupus anticoagulant anticardiolipin antiphospholipid antibody syndrome and anatomic malformations. Finally, anatomic malformations. It is important to distinguish women with incompetent cervix from more typical early abortion, premature labor or rupture of the membranes. Demographics. Predisposing factors, history of incompetent cervix, cervical conization or surgery, cervical injury, diethyl stilbestrol exposure, anatomic abnormalities of the cervix. So next is clinical findings. Symptoms and signs. So in the incompetent cervix, classically, pre classically presents as silent cervical dilation, which is without contractions between weeks 16 and 28. In the threatened abortion, bleeding or cramping without termination, and the cervix is not dilated. In the inevitable abortion, the cervix is dilated and membranes may be ruptured. Passage of products of conception has not occurred, but is considered inevitable. And in the complete abortion, the fetus and placenta are completely expelled. Pain ceases, but spotting may persist. In the incomplete abortion, some portion of the products of conception remains in the uterus. Cramps are usually mild. Bleeding is persistent and often excessive. And in the missed abortion, the pregnancy has ceased to develop but the conception has not been expelled. There is brownish vaginal discharge, but no free bleeding. Symptoms of pregnancy disappear. So next, differential diagnosis in spontaneous abortion. Ectopic pregnancy, high deform mole, incompetent cervix, anovular bleeding in a non-pregnant woman, menses or menorrhagia, cervical neoplasm or lesion. Diagnosis of spontaneous abortion. Laboratory tests. Falling levels of HCG, human, human chorionic gonadotropin. Complete blood count should be obtained if bleeding is heavy. RH type should be determined. All recovered tissue should be preserved and assessed by a pathologist. So these were the laboratory studies. Imaging studies, ultrasound can identify the gestational sac five to six weeks from the last menstrual period, a fetal pole at six weeks, and fetal cardiac activity at six to seven weeks. SubhanAllah. With accurate dating, a small irregular sac without a fetal pole is diagnostic of an abnormal pregnancy. So treatment, medications. Antibiotics should be used only if there is evidence of infection. Prostaglandin vaginal tablets, misoprostol, may be used in termination of missed abortion. Surgery, 
incomplete or inevitable abortion is treated with prompt removal of any remaining products of conception to stop bleeding and prevent infection. Therapeutic procedures, threatened abortion can be treated with bed rest for 24 to 48 hours with gradual resumption of activities, abstinence from kites and douching. In inevitable or missed abortion, it requires evacuation, dilation with laminarian surgeon and aspiration is preferred for missed abortion, though, prostor, though prostaglandin tablets are an alternative. And in the case of incompetent cervix, it is treated with circlage and restriction of activities. Cervical cultures for Neisseria gonorrhea, Chlamydia, and Group B Streptococcus should be obtained before the procedure. So I guess that's all for spontaneous abortion. Nice short video, and because I think these are... Uh... Oh, this. Video's so weird, because I'm too big to stick out, so make one video very long. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, and inshallah, probably in the next video we'll read one more entry from this book. Could be a second minute in all of those. And after finishing this book, inshallah, we'll go back to reading uh, from the case file surgery books, and we go on our cycle, free medicine, free, free medicine. Thank you very much for watching. This is a short video from this short book, and I hope everything goes fine with you, inshallah. Please take care, be happy, and... Good luck with your exams.